Hey, Chris, look at the PFDs I got at the dollar store. Hey, you popped it! Don't buy PFDs from the dollar store. Well, then who can give me advice on buying a PFD? I know somebody. I'm here at Hook, Line, and Paddle with Chris, and we're going to talk PFDs. And as much as I love the dollar store, you know you can't get them there. So, Chris, what should I look for in a PFD, given that the dollar store is not a good option? Well, the first thing, Steve, <clears throat> is make sure you're in the right PFD. Now, any new PFD is going to come with the Coast Guard approved tag attached to it from the company. Another thing you can do is here on the inside, it'll tell you um, that this is uh, intended for someone more than 90 pounds. Can you show them the label? Yep. It's intent more, intended for someone more than 90 pounds. It's for paddling and sailing, and it's a Type 3. PFD. So type three. So that's what you want to look for. So if you happen to buy a used kayak from a neighbor or a friend or just something off a of Craigslist, they throw in some life jackets. Every life jacket that's been rated by the Coast Guard, if you open up on the inside, you'll find that rating somewhere and you want to make sure that it is a type three jacket. If it is, one, you're legal and two, it's actually going to do what it's supposed to do. It's going to save your life. So Chris, once I determine that it's Coast Guard approved, how do I pick? There's so many different choices. Uh, yeah. So I think the first thing you need to ask yourself is, what do you want to do? Are you, are you touring, day touring, are you fishing? Um, and there's going to be a jacket that's going to be more specific to that. Um, the one thing I do want to touch upon um, is for children. Um, the Coast Guard doesn't break them down by size, they break them down by weight. So an infant jack will be from, from, from zero pounds to 30, a child will be from 30 to 50, and youth will be 50 to 90. The infant and child will have like a yoke up for the back of the head so it supports them if they end up in the water. Um, they'll have some straps between the legs so they can't slide off from underneath it. And you get the youth, youth jackets start looking more like adult life jackets, just real tiny. Um, you know, my daughter's 12. She's just about to move out of her youth, which is, she's wearing an otter from, from Astral. So you can see it looks like a mini adult PFD. Adjustments are all the same. So this is rated to 90 pounds. She's just just under just under 90 so when she does break 90 pounds my next jacket for her is going to be probably an adult extra small small um because again you know i can make it small enough to fit it properly um but you know you can see when you get into youth life jackets i do tend to turn into a adult looking life jacket just kind of miniaturized um for on the adult side you know if you're doing day recreation or you know touring um you know there's some options you know the linda and the ronnie from astral are very similar, kind of the same foundation. This is the Linda. Um, you have side pocket, you have pockets on each side. If you want phone, keys, whatever you want to do. Um, you have some ventilation in the back. You have moisture wicking stuff inside here. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah. So that, that keeps you from getting yeah. too hot. And the other nice thing too about this jacket, it's got a full back. So when you're sitting down in your seat, you're getting full contact in, with that seat. So. That's another important thing, you know, if the jacket, you know, comes to here, if you can put your hand between your lower back and the seat and have no support, um, that's when, it, you know, you're, you're putting a lot of weight on your lower back and, and asking it to do a lot of balance and a lot, of, a lot more work for you when the seat should be doing that. So, you know, this is kind of a, you know, this is a $100 jacket from Astral. Um, you know, the only real difference when you go to the Ronnie, again, that same foundation, that same full back, breathable, same breathable mesh inside. You just get some more pockets on the on the run. And so that's really probably the difference between recreational and fishing is in fishing you may want more pockets yeah. so you can get it stuff. Yeah. Well, you know, you think you know, you're sitting in that cockpit and you know we tell customers this all the time when you know like, well, you know, what do I do for my fishing kayak? You know, if you can reach forward you can't get it. If you can't reach behind you and to get it, then you have to get out of your kayak to get it. So, you know, the more pockets, the the, the things you know you're gonna need all the time, you can just have in one spot because it's, we're not on a center console where we can walk up to the anchor locker and pull something out or reach under the center console and grab something. You know, it's got to be within reach or you have to get out of your kayak to do it. So, you know, men's jackets tend to have more pockets. Again, it's the same foundation, the, the, the Ronnie and the Linda. Um, just, you know, the, of course, the Linda's the, the ladies' jacket. It's going to be more feminine colors and the Ronnie, more masculine colors, and it's going to have more pockets. Um, but either way, they would, work. Would you recommend going with bright colors? Yes. Yeah, I mean... You know, we have a lot of customers ask like, oh, I'm, you know, I want a red cock or an orange cock or a yellow cock because I want people, I want to be seen. But that cock is that has such a low profile in the water. This is what's sticking up. And this is what you want to be bright. 
you know, so people can see the orange or the red or the yellow. This is what's going to be seen before the boat. So we tend to more lean to not so much the kayak color for safety, but the life jacket color okay. is going to lead to safety. And a lot of them too, um, you know, you know, low light conditions. This is all IR reflective. Through so you really ought to look for some reflective tape. Yeah, on it, all the options. And they all, and they're pretty much every every everyone now is putting some kind of reflective in it, even on the back. It's reflective stitching. Okay. You know, so the logo kind of just that pop of light. The the thing that doesn't look right on the water is what, is what attracts attention. Um, so that's kind of the Ronnie and Linda. If you want to get a little sleeker, um, you know, a little bit more low profile, a little bit more breathable, Astral offers the V8. This is a unisex jacket. Um, you have a full open mesh back. You know, a lot of the fishing kayaks now have even a lot of the recreational kayaks. I mean, there's not a lot of kayaks you're going to find that doesn't have some kind of a breathable seat. Now, you know, in, in today's market. So you have a nice, big, open mesh, breathable back. The flotation's up high. So again, your back is touching the backrest of the, of the, of the kayak seat. So you're and, getting full support. And so even though there's not flotation back here like there is on these, right. since it's Coast Guard approved, it's guaranteed to have enough buoyancy. Guaranteed to have enough buoyancy. And what they did was they just made this thicker. Okay. I mean, you have the same amount of foam. They just reconfigured the jacket. Okay. Um, the V8 also does have what they call the air escape system, so you have breathable points in the front. Um, these pockets zip on the inside, so kind of think of more of a cross draw, like you know, if you if you're right-handed, put stuff in your left pocket because you're gonna you're gonna unzip it and reach in to get it, um, kind of thing. But again, places to store some stuff. Um, nice lightweight jacket, um, very adjustable. You have you have you have a lot of adjustments through the, sh through the shoulder straps through the sides, and all life jackets come two sized. So you're gonna have like an extra small, 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 medium, medium, large, large, extra large. Um, you know, I wear a large, extra large, but I'm really a large. So when it's cold weather and I put on a dry top or something like that, and, and, or just some warmer layers, I'm obviously gonna get a little bit bigger because I'm layering up. So I don't have to have like my summer jacket <clears throat> and then purchase a winter life jacket bigger because they're dual size. I just have to loosen the straps a little bit, kind of readjust it and refit and, it. And while you're talking about straps, I noticed that some of these have more straps, so that implies that they're more adjustable yep. and you can and, work them to fit better. Yeah, and some body types are, you know, prefer a different jacket. Um, we do, we have a lot of women enjoy the V8 because the shoulder straps are so adjustable they can position that flotation foam in the front where you know where it's comfortable for them. Uh, same with the Linda, you get a little bit more strap in the shoulder to, to adjust it for more comfort. Um, for kids' jackets, it kind of is what it is. So, do these ever wear out? I mean, yeah, are there's these good, there, there's good for a, a number point. of years. Yeah, there's they're good for a number of years, and that comes to to kind of care too. You know, if it's you got a lake house and they just end up living on the back lawn around the kayaks all summer they're just getting bleached out by the sun you know that foam does deteriorate they, they, they don't have an infinite lifespan so you do have to pay attention to it um every once in a while when it's warm i'll take one of my older life jackets and just kind of go for a swim and, and see see, huh? see how well it floats okay. me i mean i'd rather find out <laughs> on purpose than when i actually fall out of my kayak and, whoa the camera failed right there as we were about to transition into discussing inflatable PFDs. So this was running long anyway. We'll have to put that off to another video, but there are some issues with inflatables that you need to be aware of. Now in the next video, Chris and I are going to discuss how to fit one of these PFDs once you pick the one that's right for you. So stay tuned for that. And again, if you have any questions, uh, Chris and Hook, Line and Paddle are always happy to answer them and their contact information is right here. Take care.